Guys, welcome to Drawing Club. Today we're doing Lola the Bernadoodle. This is Lola the Bernadoodle. And to draw Lola, you will need a pencil and an eraser to erase any mistakes, and maybe a pencil sharpener, and definitely a black marker or a black pencil crayon to outline when you're done. But as usual, I'm going to use a gray marker just so you guys can see what I'm doing as I draw. So uh, a Bernadoodle is quite a fluffy dog. So we're going to be drawing a lot of sort of cloud type shapes today. So for the top of her head, I'm just going to do a lot of little cloudy bumps like this. And remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause the lesson and catch up. Um, and then for, there's a kind of a mop of hair hanging down over her eyes. So I'm going to do another cloudy shape, kind of just these in and out circles like this. So imagine that you're drawing just a nice fluffy cloud. And there we go. Um, so her eyes, I'm not going to draw the whole circle for her eyes. I'm just going to draw just like that for one eye because this um, fur is hanging down over her eyes. I'm going to do the same on the other side, just like that. And then inside of her eyes, I'm going to put some little bubbles of light just to make her extra cute. A little bean shape there, and a bubble on this side, and a bean shape there. And then I'm going to put a little kind of a half circle there and a half circle there, just where her kind of furry cheeks are coming up and covering up some of her eyes too. So when we um, go over this with our black marker, uh, we're not going to um, do the bottom part of those eyes. So she also has big furry ears. So I'm going to continue this kind of bumpy cloud shape like this. All the way down to there. And then the same on the other side, I'm going to bring the ear all the way down with these little bumpy, fluffy, cloudy shapes, just like that. Now for her nose, I'm going to make a sort of an oval shape, but at the bottom, I'm going to bring it down a little bit like the bottom of a heart, just like that. And then I'm going to put a big light bubble right there on her nose. Um, now the fur around her mouth is going to, again, look like a kind of a big fluffy mustache. Lola is a girl dog, but she is a dog, so she has fur. So it looks a little bit like a big Super Mario Brother mustache or something. <laughs> Just like this. And the same again on the other side. Hangs down like this, and back up again. Next, we'll put in Lola's tongue. Her tongue is hanging out a little bit. So just like that, and then a little line in the middle of her tongue. And then we'll put in her chin. So again, we're always doing these little kind of bumps to show that there's lots and lots of curly fur covering Lola's face. Down here, just like that. And then we'll put the two sides in. We'll put in a kind of her, her neck and maybe where her shoulders would be. And again, we're always doing these little fluffy shapes, just like that. Oh, and I think I forgot to put the sides of her face in. So let's do a little some curly lines there, 
and some curly lines there. And last, uh, Lola does have a little doggy tag here with her name on it. So I'm going to make the shape of a bone. So I'm going to have a circle there, a circle there, a straight line here, a circle there, and another circle there. And then the little plate inside where her name would go. Just like this. And that's all we need to do with our pencil to draw Lola. So then you can grab your um, black pencil crayon or your black marker to outline more. So I said at the beginning that Lola is, uh, she's a dog, but she's a special breed of dog called a Bernadoodle. And a Bernadoodle is a mix of two other types of dog, a Bernese mountain dog and a poodle. And it's from the poodle that Lola would get all of this kind of fluffy, curly hair. And so Bernadoodles usually have this kind of curly, fluffy hair, which is good if you are somebody who is allergic to dog hair because you might look at her and think, wow, she'd be very, very furry and that a lot of that fur might fall out and then it would make you sneeze if you had an allergy. But actually, uh, Bernadoodles don't lose a lot of their hair. Their hair is quite um, thick and it sort of stay, stays in place. So they are a good dog if you have an allergy to dog hair. Um, they're also extremely friendly dogs. They're a very good companion dog. So um, if you need a dog for a family or a dog to keep you company, they're very good dogs because they're not really very aggressive. They really like people. And in fact, they're so loyal to their owners that they don't really do very well if, if they have to move to uh, live with another family because they, they really fall in love with their owners and want to stay with their first family. Okay, there's her nose. They do come in, in three different sizes, kind of like t-shirts. Um, they come in a small size, a medium size, and quite a large size uh, Bernadoodle. Um, and for colors, they can be um, white or black or brown, or they can be a mix of any of those colors. So they can be black and white or black and brown, or even all three. There's her chin hairs. And like me, they love to go outside and they don't even care if it's raining or snowing, they really love to get out and play in the outdoors. And so if you have a Bernadoodle, it's really important that you take your Bernadoodle out a lot and play with it outside. And because they like people so much, they really don't like to be by themselves. Um, so they're not, very, they're not very happy if they get left home alone a lot. Here's her fluffy head. And so I'm drawing uh, Lola. Lola the Bernadoodle is a real dog. And she belongs to the aunt of one of the people who comes and joins our drawing club at home. And uh, that is Bridget. And Bridget's aunt owns Lola the Bernadoodle. And Bridget's aunt is a nurse. And this week is uh, nurses week. So it's a week where we want to say thank you and think about all of the hard work that nurses do um, to help take care of people. And in fact, later this week on Thursday, I'm, we're going to do a special drawing um, of a nurse and we're going to talk more about what nurses do and a very important idea called compassion. So we're going to talk about that on Thursday. But Bridget sent me a message asking if we could draw a picture of her aunt's uh, Bernadoodle, Lola, uh, so that she could give it to her aunt for Nurses Week. And so I thought that was a great idea and I had never drawn a Bernadoodle before. And so she sent me a picture of Lola and I've done my best here to draw it. And hopefully Bridget will like this and it will turn out well for her too. So that's uh, Lola. I'm gonna write Lola right here into her little name tag.
Lola, there. Um, so I'm gonna bring back my color version. And I think the real Lola is a little bit darker than, than what I've drawn here. But um, I used a mix of, like we said, um, Bernadoodles are a kind of mix of brown and black and white. So I sort of tried to mix some of those colors together. Um, but of course, you can change the colors if you'd like. Okay, thanks so much for coming, and I can't wait to see you guys again.